Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the only two scenarios where you want to use the traffic objective with your Facebook ad campaigns, because there really are just two. Before I get into that, I just want to very quickly ask you to smash that like button and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, so I'm in an, ex in an example ad account here. I've got the campaign creation window up, the, the thing you see when you click on the big green plus create button. And I've got traffic selected as the campaign objective. Now, this is something that a lot of Facebook advertisers use, particularly when they're first getting started. They think traffic, yeah, that's what I want. Send people to my website, send them to my landing page, send them to opt in for my webinar, send them wherever. That's what I want. Great, that's what I want from my advertising platform. It's only when you dig a little bit deeper, you start to realize actually, is that what I want? Or do I then hope that once they get there, these people who I'm sending to my website go on to take another action like purchase or become a lead or whatever. Actually, yes, nearly always you want them to take another action. Therefore, you would usually want to go with something like conversions, which allows you to directly optimize for that action. So you can say to Facebook, don't just send me a bunch of traffic. I don't really care about traffic. I want purchases. I want leads. Go out and get me those. However, that doesn't mean that we never run traffic campaigns. There are scenarios where you will run traffic campaigns, two to be precise. The first is where we cannot track conversions. If you cannot track conversions, there's no point running a conversions campaign. You would be better off going with traffic. When does this happen? Uh, one of the classic examples is sending people to an Amazon page. Let's say you sell your products via Amazon instead of, uh, and you simply cannot install pixel code and track conversions and run a, conversion, uh, run a conversions campaign as a result. Therefore, traffic is going to be the better option. And there are other options that operate similarly to Amazon. If, for example, you're sending them to a page on Spotify or lots of other third party um, locations, there are various sort of event booking softwares. Some have tracking capabilities, some don't. But if you cannot track conversions, then we're going to go ahead and use traffic. Wrapped up in that is just going to be scenarios where you can't track the next action. And um, this can sometimes be where you've got, uh, let's say, a custom website build set up that doesn't allow you to track conversions. I mean, my most of the time, my advice in that scenario would be get that fixed and change it so that you can install pixel code and you can actually get conversions tracked. Um, in fact, I'll include a link in the video description below to talking all about installing face of pixel and all that sort of stuff, because not having the face of pixel was installed is not one of the reasons to use traffic campaign. The answer there is to get the face of pixel installed and then run conversion campaigns. But if you've got like a custom setup on your website, you can't run conversions um, yet because you can't get the face of pixel installed. Yes, you could run traffic, but really I'd rather you got that fixed. But as I said, there are scenarios like when you're sending people to an Amazon page or something like that, where you simply cannot track those conversions, in which case go ahead with traffic. The other option, the other reason when we use the traffic campaign objective is when all we really want is the click. Okay, so let's say we're advertising a piece of content, an article, blog post, something like that. And all we want is people to click through and read it. Um, we will sometimes use a traffic campaign. Now we may use reach if it's part of an only presence content campaign, but there are times when we use traffic and there are various sales funnels that people recommend where you send people to say an article, like a cornerstone piece of content that helps warm them up and then you can retarget with a conversions campaign. Not something we do a huge amount of, but can work well. Those are the scenarios in which we traffic. Those are the only two scenarios in which I like using the traffic campaign objective. Effectively, when it's either actually what you want or there's no alternative or not a better alternative. I do not use traffic um, as, let's say, a top of funnel campaign objective to then use conversions afterwards. Almost never. I won't, for example, send people with a traffic campaign to a product page on a website to then retarget with conversions. No, nope, better off just go straight for conversions. I will not use traffic if I'm only generating, say, 10 conversions a week and I don't get out of the learning phase. Much better off using conversions. I've tested that so many times because I get questions about it all the time, you are better off using conversions, even if you don't get out of the learning phase, you will see better results. I don't use traffic um, because clicks are cheaper. Clicks are cheaper with a traffic campaign, but that's not a good enough reason to use traffic. There are drawbacks with the traffic campaign objective. Facebook is going to optimize for link clicks, maybe landing page views, depending on your settings. What does that mean you might get? You might get a lot of accidental clickers and Facebook thinking it's done its job and putting your ads in front of clumsy people with big thumbs. That happens. You might think it doesn't, it happens, I can assure you. Um, there are lots of times where people use traffic campaigns when they shouldn't, when they should be using conversion campaigns because they can. Or lead generation or something else, like catalog sales, for example, that's more 
um, optimized towards your end objective. But for me, only two scenarios, because you can't use conversions or because it's actually what you want. You just want them to read your content. I'd be very interested to hear if there are other scenarios in which you use it. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, I doubt I'm going to agree with other scenarios, even though I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot. But uh, be good to let me know and I will engage in, in the comments, stuff like that. And before you go, actually, something I want to quickly mention, and that's a free webinar I've created called One Facebook Ads Technique to Supercharge Your Results. And in this webinar, I talk through the single most important Facebook advertising technique that you have to get right if you want the best possible results with your Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns. It's a completely free webinar. It's about 40, 50 minutes long. Link is in the video description below. Go ahead and check it out. I think you'd be very, very happy that you did. Um, it's likely to make a huge difference to your results if you can execute this technique very well. And I show you exactly how to do it in the webinar. Um, before you go, comment below to let me know what you think of this. Comment below if you've got other times when you use traffic objective, if you agree, uh, agree disagree, all that sort of stuff. Please hit that thumbs up button, really helps me out. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new and you uh, haven't done so already. Okay, thanks a lot guys, bye for now.